So first off, I want to say this is a review and kind of a maintenance tutorial. So if you're here for the tutorial, probably going to be a little later in the video, maybe scrub through a little bit, get right to it, and, you know, if you want this to comedy. Anyways, that being said, people often ask me, DJ, how do you keep such beautiful, long, luscious locks? And I tell them, well, you know, I just use a head shaper. So we've got <clears throat> the Kibi, a little cheapy. I think they go for like 25, 30 bucks. I see them going for 60. If you ever see one for 60, don't ever buy it. It's the same dang thing. Just try to find the cheaper one. Um, and then we've got the Remington Balder Pro. So, I don't know if you can hear this. It worked good. It was alright. Uh, I did notice um, it's not geared the same as the Balder Pro. And all of these outside ones do not cut as much hair. So, yeah. Needless to say, it took me longer to shave my head with this guy than it did with the Balder Pro. And then also, uh, repair on these is a lot more complicated. So, cheaper, doesn't work as good. Uh, repair is whatever, but like, you can buy the heads pretty cheap, they're like 20 bucks, whereas the head on this is like 30 bucks. Um, but we'll also get to that in a second. I've gone through three heads on this one when I first started. <clears throat> so I do not recommend this. Just save up a little more and get something like this. So to the tutorial part, we have the Bald Pro. Super awesome. The head removes like this, just snaps right off. It, it's geared better. I mean, you heard that one. More power means more better, right? Uh, yeah, it's got metal standoffs in the back. Um, these are all plastic and they all move, which is kind of nice, you know, to cushion your head or whatever. Not like that other one that just has flanges. So this one actually has individual little whatever squishies for the motor. And also these have springs on them too. So super nice. Um, let's go to the down low and I will show you how to pull this apart and clean it. Keep in mind, it's been a little bit since I cleaned mine. <laughs> uh, so if you don't like, uh, head dandruff and little tiny chunks of hair, um, this is probably going to gross you out, but, uh, it's a guy thing, whatever, you know, we shave our heads, uh, it's beautiful. It's be you're going to love it. It's delicious. Okay. But I dumped it out, picked it up, dumped it out. So it's not too bad. All right. So let's get down low and let's let's really clean this thing. Also, um, on the review aspect, I've gone through one blade uh, a year. So it's 30 bucks a blade, gone through one blade a year. Uh, you can probably take it longer if you maintain it a little better. Uh, the one I bought, I didn't realize I could take this apart. And that was after a year of just soaking it and cleaning it. Um, so you probably just go that route, but we're going to deep clean it today and get her running like factory butter. So let's do this. All right. Let's see if I can do this from the camera. Probably not, but hopefully you guys can see everything. It's not too shiny. So you'll see there's little plastic clips right here, right here, and back here. Um, you just kind of work your way under one. Super easy, right? I'm using a flathead number five. Hello, there we go. Okay. And we'll just pop it up just like this. When they're new, they're a little sticky. <clears throat> Boom, there's one, and then you're free. And there's your yucky. That is the reason why your Balder Pro is clogged up, yum. All right, and then this part will pop out also if you would like to clean it. Um, it's a little pain in the butt, I guess I'll go ahead and show you. So there is gonna be, there's two springs in here that are attached to this frame. 
you know, that make it bounce. So I'll show you how to remove that. So there's a clip here you pull down on. Might need an actual bigger tip here. Let's go with a number, number three, 3.0. Let's go. Let's go. All right. And then now you can see, can you see the little clip in there right here? We'll pull that out. If I can remember what I'm doing here. Sorry, this is hard to see. There's another one on the other side. Maybe we'll go for that one too. Do them both at the same time. Bam. Oh, almost had it. And come on, baby. <laughs> this is a little fiddly, just so you know. All right. And then we got her out. And we shot our spring. Okay, so there's the spring. So I found the easiest way to get this back together is, oh yeah, um, when you put it back together too, you'll also notice on here, see there's a flat side on both sides. You have to make sure that is lined up perpendicular with the other flat sides. It's hard to see, let me get that angle. You see that flat lip right here at the front? That's one. And if you flip it over, there's also a flat lip on the back side. So you have to make sure those flat lips are in there. Otherwise, your motor will be very annoying and rub. So we'll get that in there. Bada boom, bang, bing. I think we're in. Alrighty then. All right. And I'm gonna pull the rest of these out. I'm just gonna pull these off and get them cleaned up. And then uh, we'll go to town here. I'm just being brutal here. Got it, got it. Okay, bada boom. And we'll pop this sucker out of there. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna wash this mess and um, we'll see what she looks like. All right, we're back. And don't worry about mixing these up. They are all the same, all the retaining rings. So let's make sure everything is orientated correctly here. Do it in the frame, right? Would be helpful. So we got our two flat ends up. We'll drop a blade in. And then we'll snap this into play here. So I'm pushing down on the blade. Get the top clip in first. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll rotate it. Hold it and then start pushing the other ones in. Boom, that one's in. That's two, so I'll move my finger between the two and then push the next one down, boom. Should be super easy, just like that. Spin it, nice and quiet. Okay, if it's rubbing and making noise, you might not have it lined up correctly. I mean, keep in mind this isn't a quiet razor, but yeah, like if it sounds like grinding, you probably don't have it lined up right. But yeah, you can also feel it. If it spins smooth, it should be good to go. All right, so next one, we'll do this guy last. Line our two ends up. Boom, felt it pop in there, perfect. Get our blade in. Boom, in there. Nice and smooth. We'll put this in like this. Push down. Whoa. <laughs> like I said, a little fiddly. Gotta get that top one in.
Okay, we're in. Spin it, hold it, pop it. Boom. Piece of cake. Boom. Piece of cake. Test it. Nice and smooth. All right. Uh, I'll edit these out and then I'll show you how to install the spring. So uh, let me get these two done and then we'll um, do the last one. Yeah, you remember the middle one? Same thing. It's kind of hard to see the flat spots. Let me show it to you. See what it looks like. So you know what you're looking for. There is a little line right here next to this hole. If you look everywhere else, you won't see it. The flat spot is up above the base with a chunk of hair in it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, same exact thing. Pop her in, line her up. Make sure she's straight. If she's not straight, she's going to be noisy girl. Pop that in. Boom. Oh, shoot. Get that big chunk out of there. What was that? There we go. Oh, and here's a little bleed. I mean, you guys have been looking at them, but uh, there you go. That's what she looks like. Good with the spin. She's nice. And this one is a little trickier, too. Hold that in there. This one likes to pop out on me. It's hard to hold it and hold everything else. Make sure go all the way around it. Give it the spin test. Boom. All right. So the easy way to get this spring in is to actually just set your spring right here. Let me get some tweezers. Um, I can't find my tweezers. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We'll, we'll old school it. Boom. And she just sets in that hole. And then there's another one. You see the hole here. So I got it set right there. There's a little hole and there's a hole on this one. So if you just kind of get this out, just go ahead and put the tab in. And then go ahead and set her down. You can hear it pop. And then you can look in there. It's really hard to see, but I am actually got it in the hole where it needs to go. So just line that tab up first. And then you can kind of pick this back up, push it with your finger, push it out, tip it up. And then you're going to clip it back into the spot. Just like that. You're good to go now. Boom. Yeah, my finger's on it. Okay. And then I'm going to clean this up a little more and pop it in, and uh, we'll be right back. There we go. And now your Balder Pro is brand spanking new. Unless it's all yucky inside like that, but we're not going to worry about that on this video because you can clean that. Look at that. That's the motor. That means you're pressing too hard. I can't that thing. But yeah. Uh, there we go. We are good. You know, once you get used to this, it kind of feels good. Just shave right on the spot, yeah, baby. I do press a little hard, but I like to get it smooth. Okay, that's good. Right on, I hope you learned something. Um, sounds good, looks good, feels good. Um, that'll save you 30 bucks, and once you're good at it, like, it took me 10 minutes. So, well, 
I think this video is 20 minutes now, so, you know, 20 minutes, but I had to film during that, so yeah, on your second try, you know, you probably do it in 10 minutes, save yourself $30. Uh, I hope you like it, um, and not to mention the e-waste, like, or I guess this isn't e-waste, this is metal, it's recyclable, right? You throw it in the recycle bin, there's a lot of plastic on it, though. Um, but yeah, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, bro. Uh, yeah, and like, like I said, so I bought one blade after a year of just cleaning it without taking it apart and then um bought a new blade and then six months later it got clogged so that's when i was like i am not buying a new blade every six months you know it's you know it's gonna be like 70 bucks a year after tax and stuff um just to shave my head because i was using a bic and i like to do that every now and again but it gets old after a while this is just quick i because i shave my head every single morning so yeah this is handy so hopefully this blade will last me a couple years now, if I keep doing that. We'll see, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, like 30 bucks every couple of years ain't too bad. So, right on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe. Just help me out. Thank you, love you, bye.